is Spotify losing its grip and about to be dethroned by Audius as the new king of the streaming services? And are artists about to get a fair reward for their royalties? All right, back it up. Let's take a step back and have a look at how we got here. In case you haven't heard, there is a new kid on the block, Audius, but there's nothing really new about this. After all, we've all heard about Tidal and Deezer and Pandora and Amazon Music and Quobus and TuneZeal and Music Boom and Geosarvan. There are plenty of music streaming services and Audius is a new one, but this one has a big difference. Those magic three little words. Blockchain. Now this is where things get a little bit complicated and I have spent the last two days reading blogs and watching videos mostly by dudes who live in their basements and play Dungeons and Dragons and will never ever get laid. But I'm gonna try and make this as simple as possible for us real musicians and not people who have handkerchiefs up their sleeve. Jeez. Audius is a streaming service, but it's on a decentralized platform, which basically means that the music isn't housed on Audius the platform. Instead, it's housed across a distribution network. So in layman's terms, what this means is there's no middleman. So as an artist, you can charge whatever you want for your art and your music, which incidentally is quite weird, isn't it? Now, Spotify is thought of as the, the middleman, whereas it used to be the labels that were the middleman. And then Spotify came and disrupted everything. And it was like, oh, fantastic. This is amazing. Now we can go straight to consumer and ev everything is done on Spotify. And all of a sudden now Spotify is the bad guy and the middleman. And now there's far too many middlemen. And now someone else comes in to disrupt, move across the middleman to basically be a middleman. But with that said, Audius has said it's here to put artists first. Not that we haven't heard that before. And it's also said that Audius is here as a non-profit organization. Not that we haven't heard that before as well. So this is the answer to everyone's prayers, right? Artists get to make music, sell it themselves, and reap the benefits of the rewards themselves. I mean, what could be better? Well, technically yes and no, because this is a political shitstorm. This is a hot potato and even governments have been stepping in. The UK government recently summoned the three major labels to give evidence at the Houses of Parliament to justify how much money is going to the artists, which are, is around about 12%. The problem here is the UK government seems to have listened to the evidence and said, sounds bad, what do you think we should do about it? And everyone else has said, I don't know, what do you think we should do about it? And everyone seems to have kind of gone, I don't know, let's just wait and see what happens. Meanwhile, UMG, Universal Music Group, the most powerful entity in the whole of the music industry, has just posted record profits and is now worth an estimated $55 billion. So the labels are literally making it rain, whilst their artists are sometimes getting royalty checks for thousands of dollars instead of millions of dollars when they are creating the art itself. So the time is right for something to happen, an artist to take control. And yes, in theory, Audius and blockchain technology could be the answer. And therefore giving control back to artists to be able to sell their own work and make that money back. This brings in a whole world of new ideas to be able to sell, including NFTs or a Shopify store where you can actually sell one song or an album or your entire back catalog or even your entire future catalog for one lump sum. Very, very clever. What on earth is going on? But there are three major issues. Number one is consumption. At the moment, people pay around about 10 bucks a month for their music. And I mean all music for 10 bucks a month. And it doesn't even have to be 10 bucks. You can get it completely for free as long as you don't mind having some adverts. So getting people to change platforms is doable, but very, very difficult. Especially when you're saying the main reason why you need to change is because the artists get paid more. Now, the reality is we've tried this with Jay-Z and Tidal. And it didn't work because people, well, they're very selfish. Then there's the concept and idea of blockchain technology. Now your average Joe is a bit scared of blockchain technology and the idea of buying some kind of tokens to be able to spend that on music that they listen to, whilst that sounds futuristic and space age, is gonna scare the hell out of a lot of normal people who just want their music, which they already get for free, or 10 bucks a month. I mean, we are still living in a time where half the population still thinks CDs are still a thing. 
So the idea to go from CDs to MP3s to streaming and now into this futuristic technology is not going to happen overnight. But then there's the big one, the mic drop moment, which is the labels themselves. Over the last 70 years, the labels have owned and controlled music. If you think about the last few years, yes, you can go and make your own music. But if you think about the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, all of the greatest music that's out there, well, that's still owned by labels. The labels are libraries of music. And let me tell you, things are going very, very well for those labels. So they are not going to be early adopters. They are not going to rock the boat and say, give us a go, let's see what happens. They are going to be against this. Because think about it, words like decentralized, that works great for Dave down the road. Hot dogs! But it doesn't work so well for Warner Music, who are literally churning millions and millions of dollars every single week. And this is a a huge problem because without the major labels on board that means 70 years worth of music is now not on this platform so it's great for up and coming music and at the moment Audius is very electronic heavy but what about the likes of Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift and The Weeknd? And while we scoff and say, well, that's not real music, but look at the numbers. Ed Sheeran, 70 million monthly listeners. The Weeknd, 70 million monthly listeners. Justin Bieber, 83 million monthly listeners. The problem is, from a consumption habit, people go to Spotify for that music. And if you say you can still do that, but if you want to go and get your other new music, go to this new place, most people go, oh, can't, I'm not going to use two places. I'm just going to go to one. So if we're talking new artists and new music and new future, then yeah, this could be incredibly powerful, especially for you, an artist who owns and controls their music. But let's be under no illusion. The labels are not going to be there to just roll over and give up what they've got which is incredible control and power right now. But what this is, is an incredible step in the right direction. This is a disruption. What this is doing is starting to hand more power to more artists. And in doing so, there is a future where artists can be looked after, hopefully sooner rather than later. And who knows, the labels might be forced to step into it. But right now, the most important thing for me is when you are an up and coming artist, the most important thing is building your audience, making great music, building that audience so that you can get that return of investment. And I would not want to see up and coming artists spending lots and lots of time, effort and energy trying to understand and learning new, new technologies when the most important thing to do is getting their music heard and building the audience first. This technology will develop and hopefully quickly and whether it's Audius or whether it's someone similar that comes along after Audius, we are seeing the dawn of new technology that hopefully will look after artists. But right now, we have the right strategy. Build your platform, build your house, build your audience. There are plenty of ways of bringing in that return of investment, but we cannot do that without great music and a loyal audience. So what do you think? Is Audius the future or is it another flash in the pan? Or is this blockchain technology the way forward to actually get musicians paid the royalties that they deserve? I want to know your answers in the comments below. Otherwise, do me a huge favor. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you again soon.